Customer, it's good to have you on the show. Well, it's good to be on this uh, very powerful packed show. Mm. Um, so much to talk about. Of course, um, I mean, just read out the numbers. That's so much, so much, so much. Um, of course, we'll be going back to Morovia. You know, right there in Morovia, at the stadium mm. right there, Guess who led out the Lone Stars of, of Liberia? I can guess. The man that loves football. Yeah. That's now the president. The best football, I mean, former World Football of the Year, mm. now the president of the Republic of Liberia, awesome. George Opongwe. Beautiful star. I mean, you need to see him. He came out and I was looking as if he was going to get mm. a goal against the Super Eagles again. <laughs> I mean, he would never forget yeah. uh, qualifiers for Korea-Japan 2002 mm. when Nigeria had to defeat them at Port Harcourt and everything was ended for Liberia yeah. in that one. And they but had it's a, a beautiful friendly. run. Yeah. So I would say no, no. No. I mean, but but, but, but the, the world <laughs> would rather see Nigeria at the World Cup. Well, he would like, have told a good he story. He would have told a good Nigeria story, you know. Yeah. But uh, you know, um, it's a friendly, and mm. of course, uh, you know, the team are out. Amike Chiku is in. In case you don't know, he's the one in goal. And um, yes, John Ugu for the first time. Mm. He's the captain of the Super Eagles of oh, Nigeria. Beautiful. So, um, you know, we, let's let's see a good game. Uh, I like to see some of these players. Uh, uh, the own base players, the mm -hmm. other four That's that right. were uh, um, called up by Coach Janotro. Mm. I'd like to see them, but um, none of them are in the starting 11, so let's see whether okay. they'll be coming in later okay. on in the match. Yeah. Hopefully, we're going to get a good result. Liberia must not win Nigeria <laughs> because it will be a deduction of points for us. It's an international friendly. But we have said this is no count. The coefficients that FIFA uses, we don't know. Well, so if they, no, friendly, friendly is very important yeah, as well. Uh, you know? Friendly is important too. We went to the World Cup, did well. The, the, Teams that didn't even go to the World Cup. <laughs> and that's because, but, but Niger they ranked better than Nigeria. Well, but Nigeria actually actually mm. dropped, uh, I think, a point uh, because of the loss to Iceland and Argentina. Well, I'm sorry, the... sorry, uh, Croatia to uh, and Argentina, uh, not Iceland. And the one that didn't yeah. qualify at all. Uh, well, yeah, that's no because way. of the points they have uh, gotten. But, uh, the points they have gathered. Cameroon. The point they got nah, didn't go the anywhere. Cameroon won the African Cup of Nations last year. So that's a huge point. See, for I should not even come up with that. <laughs> that's a huge let, point. Let's not get into that discussion because it annoys. Let's, let, let's yeah. wait till September it 20. It a lot of football let's wait fans, September, but it's a September friendly 20. match. And we love the purpose with which it's being done. Uh, honoring George Pongwe after he became president of Liberia. They're using football to say, look, uh, football can bring all of us together. So when we start getting uh, details from Monrovia, we'll tell you. That's why we're here. It's an international friendly match between Nigeria and Liberia. Let me tell you a story. A story that when it has to do with the grassroots, you need to listen up because you can be part of it. Uh, cycling isn't so big in Nigeria, but look around at leisure. Uh, everyone wants to jump on a bicycle. Even if you don't have one, when you see a kid riding a bicycle, I want to tell mommy and daddy to get you one. Even as adults, as some of us do for our exercises, so why is cycling not big in the country? And you know, whenever we talk about these other sports, the objective is to take the pressure off football. So that's the school organizers and officials of the school cycling challenge. We are in this third edition, Cosmos, at this press conference. They said, look, we have toured the France, they go to Monaco, they go to different parts of the world, they race. But we don't get, I, I don't know if in the midst of all those cyclists, how many blacks do you support? But they're saying, if we start with this, take it to the schools, move on from there. The objective is to be consistent, discover talent, customers someday will be talking about cycling. I mean, certainly. Um, uh, cycling used to be big in this country. I, I mean, I can remember the 80s, um, part of the 90s. Maybe started dying at the turn of the millennium because of... Um, uh, you know, neglect and, of course, the maladministration from the cycling mm. federation. But um, it's a good thing that it's actually coming back. And where else, you know, for you to come back down for schools? I mean, um, you go to the island, for example, of Lagos. You go to the island, for example, and you see, I mean, um, young chap driving their bicycles, even on the mainland, guys mm. who driving their bicycles. And you said that, okay, y y imagine if you train these guys. I mean... Uh, many of them are school children, yeah. school boys and girls. Yeah. Train them up and let them be in this kind of a thing. I mean, you're building something for the future. Mm -hmm. Who knows? One, two, three, or even some of them might be in the Tour de France in the, in the, in the nearer future. So yeah. I, I, think, I think this is a good one. Yeah. This is actually a very nice one. And um, this should 
the, the right the right support should come for them. That's right. That's the word support. And when you're dealing with kids, that's all you need to do. You need to support them. And that's what the African Cycling Foundation uh, they're trying to do. They want to keep this going. 180 secondary school students in Lagos from three educational districts. I love it when we merge sports and education. That's a powerful objective, right? That they will compete in Lagos. Let's listen to the officials. What's the major objective? They'll tell us. Don't go anywhere too many competitions all over the world with cycling. We don't get to see Nigerians involved. But we can't wake up one day and just say, oh yeah, let's go compete. We are not even in the reckoning of various federations across the world. So once we capture them young, we can begin to see. For the program that's going to happen here on the 21st, we're going to identify young talents that will be mentored by some of our partners. Sustainable Cycling Foundation. Their job is to nurture and, become, and help them to become professionals. We are supposed to uh, discover them through programs like this. Apart from all of this, just like we rightly said, every kid participating will be, will be, will be gaining from the aspect of alertness and well-being. There are a lot of things that have gone wrong in our society. Um, cycling is one way to actually begin to help develop and build self-esteem. Um, we know that we have a lot of sportsmen that are not supported in the country. One of the things that we are doing is to begin to develop through our partnership with ACF and SCF to begin to develop those kids at a very early stage. And the idea is that as we go through the stages, we may be able to put a team forward or a few teams forward for at international level competing.